Today we're going to be calibrating a Park TM1 spoke tension meter. Uh, this meter is not mine, it belongs to a local shop. And uh, they don't use a they don't do a lot of wheel building, but they do spoke replacements, things like that. So uh, this is an older unit. Uh, you can tell that by the uh, the chart that comes with it. This um, this is an older chart. I have my own unit here, which uh, this one is a little bit uh, later unit. It comes with a, a little bit more comprehensive chart. A lot more spokes listed on it. At any rate, uh, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be checking the meter uh, against different gauges of spokes in the calibration fixture and uh, just checking to see that the, the readings that we get are, are halfway accurate and if not we will adjust the meter so that it does give accurate readings. So anyway, let's get started. Alright, so we have a 2 millimeter or 14 gauge spoke mounted in the calibrator. Now, Park uh, supplies this handy little uh, spoke gauge checker with their tools. And so we see that a, a spoke doesn't fit in the 1.8 slot. So it does fit in the 2.0 slot, so we got a 14 gauge spoke here. Alright, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to check... First off, that's bladed. We don't want that. Okay, the round steel. Uh, all right, so we want to go somewhere in the 100 kilograms of force range. So we see that a reading of 95, or at 95 kilograms of force, the meter should register a 23. All right, so we'll put 95 kgs on the scale. Let's switch it on. All right. And then we'll tension it up to 95 kilograms of force. Ninety-five, Try and get this as accurate as we can. Okay, 95.3. That's pretty darn close. All right, so we'll put the meter on it and we'll see what, what it registers. So it's reading 24. All right, so our chart says that at 95 kgs it's supposed to register 23. So it's registering 24, which means that it's reading a little high. A reading of 24, according to this, should be 107 kilograms of force. So anyway, it's, uh, it's reading a little high, so we're going to make an adjustment. Okay, so to correct the situation, we have to put a little bit more tension on this torsion spring. All right, so, and this is the uh, the adjuster screw here. So what we'll do is we uh, just take the spring off there like that. No tools needed. You'll notice that there's a, a slot in the head of this screw. So we want to rotate that in this direction so that... Uh, it tightens the spring a little bit, so we're going to uh, back it off. We're going to go about two rotations, so there's a half, there's one, one and a half, two. All right, so I'll put the spring back on. And make sure it's snapped into the groove there and we'll take another reading and see what we got okay we're back at 95 kilograms on the scale and let's see what we got here
All right, so now we're at about uh, just a hair over 23. I would say if we give that screw another half a rotation, we'll probably be bang on. So we'll try that and see. Okay. Uh, still reading just a hair under 95. Let's see what we got here. Okay, and we are. Okay, so now we've got a reading of 23. So on a 2 millimeter spoke, we're getting accurate readings. And we'll just uh, check it for repeatability. 23. Yep. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start swapping different uh, gauges of spokes in there and then check and see how consistent it is across the range on the readings on the different gauges of spokes. All right, so now we've got a 1.8 millimeter spoke. Actually, it's a double butted, so it's uh, it's 1.8 in the center section. And chart is telling us that at 99 kilograms of force, we should get a reading of uh, what's it say here now? At 99, we should get a reading of 21. So. We'll try that on for size and see what we get. And I did try it on a 1.8 before and it was reading high as well. So what do we got? We got 21. All right, so we're getting an accurate reading on a 1.8. Okay, so we've tried all the sizes right down to, I've got a 1.5 millimeter spoke in there right now at 106 kilograms of force. Uh, the chart says reading of 18 and that's exactly what we've got. Okay, so reading of 18. So across the board, I've got accurate readings. i got one more to try. I'm going to put a CX ray in there and see how that compares. Okay, so now we're going to test a Supreme CX ray bladed spoke. That's the uh, this column here, 2.3 by 0.9. All right, so it shows 100 kilograms of force should give us a reading of 13. So let's see what we got. Fine-tune our adjustment here. Now, very important with a bladed spoke that you make sure you don't have a twist in it. Otherwise, you'll get a, a goofy reading. 100.5.4. That's about as close as we're going to get it. All right, let's see what we got. We're looking for a reading of 13. At 100. GF. Yeah. All right. And we got 14, 13. We got about 12 and a half. So we're a little bit off there. Actually, closer to 12. 
So we're a little bit inaccurate on that one. So a reading of 12 is 91. So the difference between a reading of 12 and 13 is the difference between 91 kgf and 100. So we're, you know, somewhere in the low to mid 90s. So it's not terrible. Uh, I mean, for, um, you know, occasional usage, uh, but it's a little bit more further off than what the, uh, the round spokes were. But anyway, all in all, um, you know, for a, a cheap, simple design tool, uh, I don't use mine a lot because, you know, I, you know, I do a lot of wheel production here. I, I do hundreds of wheels per year, so I use something a little bit more sophisticated than this one. But, I mean, it does give repeatable readings, so if you have the, the means to calibrate it, um, it, it is somewhat dependable. And I would say for the purpose that the shop that owns this tool uses it for, it's, it's just fine. Particularly now that uh, I have calibrated it and uh, it's somewhat more dependable. So anyway, all right, well, that's it. Um, good enough for the purpose. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.